That's what he shot at. Hey, yo, Big C, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. So this was, was this a lineup, or this was just, you know, he was just too comfortable when he went up from his house? And based on where it was, somebody had been following. They had been following. They, they call him. They, they call him Bonner, but they just call him in the show. So if you're going in the cookie store, you ain't looking for no nobody up behind you. So they pulled up. They didn't pull in the parking space. They pulled up halfway, caught, jumped out. They got on, though, the COVID-19 mask and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's a TikTok out. It was like last moment. It was the last moment. They had him at a gas station. I don't know if y'all saw that TikTok. Well, um, he had pulled into a gas station and he went to the cookie shop or whatever. Level up right now to the day. So, Dolph did his deal. He got introduced to paper to uh, paper out through um, uh, what was that? It, uh, what's his marketing stuff in Atlanta? Uh, what's the nigga? Uh, Two Chain. Uh, uh, Street is that. That's how he got plugged with Empire. So, Dolph was spending his own money anyway, so it made sense for him to get uh, 80% of the money. Right. So, it made sense for him to get 80% and them folks get 20%. So, for y'all that don't know how Empire works, which I got a distribution deal over there too. So, what they end up doing is they going to give you 80% of the money. They're going to cross promote the market with you. So, when the yoke came to him with that, yes, it's true that you came over there and, and cut. Don't know what's happening. A hundred, a, a thousand bags, eight hundred bags. You know what I'm talking about, y'all. Don't know what I'm talking about. So he was having it. So he was feeding niggas for real. You know what I'm saying? So when they came to him with the plate, same thing. When God did 36, he did them because they offered him a deal and he didn't like it. That's the, the, the straight fact. You know what I'm saying? So. When Dog started what was going on, Dog was yeah, like, oh, man, bro. The so dog thing was, dude ain't taking him being the right one I want to sign with dude. This is what came out of his mouth. Before it was any beef or whatever. So, of course, the nigga baby mama did sleep with the nigga and all that. And so, and Dog just was popping his whip. So, Dog was, he put niggas on, just, they weren't even hot yet. Hey, OG, he hey, OG, it. hold on. I don't want to cut your wisdom. Stay right there. I want you to continue. But you got people in the con comments. We got about 5,700 people in the building. You already know it's celebrities in the building with their fake-ass accounts. Hey, bro, keep talking your shit right now. All right, word up. So, and bro was like, man, this don't even look right. Now, I done had a couple people that came to me that had situation with y'all and them and they were like bro what you think about this i'm like you know what i'm saying i don't recommend it. i mean like they came to my artist and was like man and y'all gonna look on his time feed and see what just posted him blah, 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 blah. i'm like bro he the hardest dude in the city right now i cash up in about a thousand dollars you listen to any nigga from memphis and listen to any nigga compared to my dude big folks they want you when you super duper hot yeah so my dad, so my dad. what was it yeah, no, anyway. No, keep so, talking, bro. Whoever that was, right, keep so my partner, is. my partner, Marcus, he's the one that they family own Makita Cooking. I go there every week, too. That's just a spot that everybody goes to. Yeah, through. his people's this, own Makita. That, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. His people own. That's why he's so invested in it. Why he say when he come off nah, the tour. Nah, nah. Nah, don't talk to own it. A partner of mine named Marcus, him and his family own that restaurant. They own it. Yeah, 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 they own that shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Marcus' daddy was there. That's my partner. So every time I go up there here, we get a bag of cookies. We sit there, chop it up, bam, bam, bam. So like, dog. I'm Put on dog at the corner store, at the whatever dog dolo. You know what I'm saying? So he, cause he, that's his hood. He from Cash Day. See, Cash Day, South Memphis. Oh, that's the same. That's South Memphis. All this neighborhood mm -hmm. section. Of South Memphis, you know what I'm saying. So like when Dolph say, "Man, I be in these streets," he's for real. Like they was putting put a curfew on the city tonight because blood, dog pop, they did not shoot up your mama's restaurant. That did not happen. You know what I'm saying? It I was thought they did threatened. put a curfew out though. Nah, they ain't put it out. My uh, partner on the police department, but they ain't put it out. They were talking about it, but they didn't do it. So everybody really just stood down. You know what I'm saying? People just. But like blood, it's innocent folk finna go down, bro, behind it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the bad part about it, though. 
You see what I'm saying? They put a five hundred thousand dollar reward for whoever they gonna turn them up by Friday, bro. And then I'll call y'all back in Friday. What you said though is that, uh, like I don't know if people called it, but the original beef started over a female. Yeah, going on. Now. No, the original beef that added it to the beef. The original beef was when the word got back that because if you go look at memes of Dolph had with their shows with Joe or whatever the case was so he was doing his thing and so like they want you to be like either you with us or against us that they count their mentality over there you know what I'm saying but it's a lot of bros man, that, that's from the hood or them not say the hood I mean now Memphis over there that was with Joe when he when they was trading jewelry partners they was, they was wearing jewelry and sharing chains and shit you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. and they still in the hood so they thought they was gonna get a ride and gonna be on that. They ain't. So if you tell me that after this right see me, I've always got my own bread. So when they was selling dope, I used to own all the dope house. I used to own 15 run property. They just not getting on that shit. I've been I've been doing shit. I, I had the beeper store when niggas was selling beepers. So I've been had I've been an entrepreneur. You don't get an entrepreneur magazine by being a dummy. So when y'all just saw how bro situation was, he like, I ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Then yo like, okay, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Word got exchanged from somehow. Then dog just came out and said, yeah, nigga, I hit to me. So, you know, she, when the house do a man get caught, pillow talk, the bitch started talking. You see what I'm saying? So he- That's a daddy, do me. That's that's that, 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 you gotta be in you gotta be in the street in the loop to know that yeah that's why him and yeah, bro, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, check yeah, it out check it out fuck Gucci yeah. White yeah don't y'all remember three years ago bro or two and a half years ago when Black Youngster the bagged up a little bit from him he fucked around and read that contract he found out that he wasn't owning his mouth in public like he thought so when Thank you look you. at okay bro this is okay. And for y'all that don't know how the music be in the club, if you sign to a major label, you're going to never get a public check. You're going to get the 15%. That's all you're going to get. That's it. You're never going to recoup. They're going to always, I've gotten so many checks for regulate. But my man, bro, you said you do be the way Interscope. You know how I've gotten money out of every nigga budget that probably been at Interscope for some shit that they didn't even pay for. It was on somebody's some shit they had me doing. On some consulting and regional marketing on an artist. So that's how that's how I recommend. If you don't know how to audit, bro, and read a PNL statement, you gonna get that done with no Vaseline. They are gonna give it to you. So when they go back and read their contract, these dudes don't know what perpetuity means and priority is, and they it's just words that do these dudes from the streets, bro. They don't know no that's better. That's a fact. That's a fact, baby. They don't they don't know no better. So when you put a nigga on game that don't know nothing, first they ain't gonna say, bro, you trying to get me. You know what I'm saying? So I've made plenty of dudes out of contract, marketing contract, magic contract. But you can actually want to go, go ahead, bro. I've always been blessed, man, in everything I've done. I don't stay in no hubble. I stay in the penthouse over the city. You know what I'm saying? I've always been on top of my business. So when a person know their business, you can't just shoot them no anything. And dog was on top of his business. You see what I'm saying? He's now on top. He knew his business. So the things that they were trying to tell him, when you find out the truth, you gonna look at a nigga different when they when they go and tell you something different. You gonna look at them different, but you know the game. God is I'm scared me. Don't learn the game from the stars. That's how he does. So he ain't got to get fifteen percent like artists be getting. He is get eighty. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So that's five times more than the other dude getting. So y'all can go gold. And shit, he gonna get three million. Yeah. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So I'm you gotta get to shake the dog. Yeah. All that money gonna shake the dog. Yeah. So, my partner told me when dog pulled up today, which he always do, he pulled up at the store. He went in. He told him, they said, you want to, because if you know you, you know what you want. Dog came in and ordered three thousand chip cookies and a cup of ice cream. He turned around, went right there by the door a little bit. The dude had already pulled up in a white top. The old man saw him. He shot him with an AR-15 pistol. And shot him down right there. And dog shot back. But he couldn't. He said, dog, stay with me, stay with me. He couldn't. Damn. That's what happened. And they had a camera up there. And so uh, it was just said that dog had somebody in the car with him. But I'm like... Yeah. Yes, one thing I will say, 
dog don't always be on pork, be comfortable. That's just good. So he did. He'll go in the damn grocery store. I mean, not the corner store, a grocery store. Hey, it's a grocery store right there. Part, he was part, like, he didn't back in. He parked straight in. Like, that's how comfortable. He parked straight in. He ain't even parked straight in. He'll park straight in. And I just seen dogs at the post office. I'm dropping off, sending stuff out to labels or whatever. He up there, too, in line. Like a regular customer. That's him. See what's going on, bro? What you got going on? He, that's just how he is. He's going to be out there with a $200,000 with the jury on. He ain't him. Yeah, and just walk around like, yeah, $100,000. Yeah, like. But see, we got that bro been over there for 20 some years. What you expect? That's his neighborhood. He wasn't in another nigga hood, bro. That's what I'm telling This man went up and down that street and went at that damn, that damn cookie store, bro, for 10 years or something. That's regular. That's like y'all going down here to Bodega. That's because they seen them. Um, Everybody's like seen them. It ain't shit new here. That's normal. That's, that's 